Hi, it's Brad from Cotswold Farm Machinery. We're outside with the Case Puma 165 CVX, which you see in the background there. Now this machine has a little surprise right around there, which uh, I think you all wanna see, especially for people who are big into the case uh, machinery. So do stick around to check that one out. We're gonna start off with a walk round, which let's get into. So starting off at the front of the machine, let's go around to the front linkage, three point linkage with forward controls. As you'll see there, we have the normal lights, but with the daytime running lights, as you can not see right now, because it's not currently turned on. It's a very good looking machine. 209 horsepower, that's including boost. I think it's, a, I believe it's about 180 uh, without boost there's not a lot to see around there battery cover under there Let's see if we can get into the corner get a bit more of a view of the side on the fronts we have 540 65 28s trail borgs and on the rear it's upside down again. We have 650, 65, 38s. Coming up onto the rear, we have rear hitch control, both sides. LED lights all the way around. As you can see, this machine's unregistered currently. Four electric spools. Trailer brakes, as you'd expect. You can just about see under there, cab suspension. You've got some little points to put your link balls on so you don't have to keep them in the toolbox. There's the hitch controls again. Come around to the side. New style aluminium steps, add blue and diesel toolbox. And again, you can see the LED lights all the way around. Coming up into the cab, let's get a good view. As you can see, it's a nice, large, comfy operator's area, plenty of space new storage box which is air conditioned and the new steering wheel and you'll see over there the new baler bar which has a couple of usbs on the back of it as well for charging for most of you who have operated a case before this will look fairly similar but we have something a little new which we'll get into in about two minutes so stick around for that coming down here You've got your main control panel. Most of that is self-explanatory for anyone who does a lot of operating. Tractors, four spools, the joystick with a, a linear uh, positional speed control, which is just on there. So if you had that set to 53K, that'd be doing 53K. That'd be doing zero. That'd be doing somewhere in the middle. Uh, coming around onto the little joystick here, which does actually have a forward and backward now. Uh, it's hard to see, truth be told, whilst I'm doing this. But there is actually a little forward and backward, so you do not have to take your hands off the joystick when trying to operate the front hydraulics anymore. Coming onto the side here, you'll see the PTO speeds. 1,540E and 540. Steering control, um, and up onto the side there, the other battery isolator switch, which one was outside, you might have seen it in previous clip. Trailer brake test. The new baler bar. A ram mount. The USBs. Electronic controls. Air conditioning. Lights. 
As you can see, it's got a very large and comfy instructor seat. And we do actually have heated seats on the main driver's seat. Some power, a couple of large speakers. Good view out the rear. New steering wheel looks very nice, really well stitched, very solid and a bit thicker if you like that sort of steering wheel. If I bring this down a little bit, you can see into the new box, which has an air conditioning shut off there, which allows you to keep your food cool in the summer. We do actually have a, a sunroof. It's more for if you're using a loader on here. Uh, truth be told, I keep it like that 99% of the time. So what most people are interested in is gonna be the new Pro 700 Plus screen, which effectively is the Pro 1200 screen running the 700 software. Uh, which will be seen in, I think, all production machines now uh, going forward uh, instead of the 700 screen. It looks way better than the previous screen. It's way more up to date, as you'd expect. It's way larger. I have quite a large hand uh, and it just about fits across it. So from the software side, there's actually not a lot changed. It just simply runs faster than the previous screen ever did. So, and that's, that's no surprise. It's older software running on way newer hardware, which is gonna ultimately give you a much faster and enjoyable experience. I think the only way we can really show this off a little bit is at least just operating things at different levels like we are, as you can see, it just fires on. Don't want to hit that anymore. Let's go to flow, priority, let's see, timer. I'm not going to not set that just so uh, we don't try and have problems in the future. As you can see, it just fires on through all the pages with no issues, which is massively sped up. Like that video follow us or subscribe yeah subscribe or comment or both do both and like you know do it all <laughs>